Hi all, welcome back to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will be continuing our data flow activity series of different transformations. And in this video, we will be learning about alter row transformation. So let's first go to the official documentation page of Microsoft for alter row transformation. So here is the page and you can see as the name signifies we are going to alter the rows so it states that use the alter row transformation to set insert delete update and absurd policies on the rows so we can perform these four operations on the rows and using different expressions so here you can see there is a snapshot of the alter row transformation settings so here are the four options insert if signify here the condition update if delete if absurd if and here the condition we have to mention alter row transformations will operate on database rest or cosmos db sinks so in the target or in the sync level there should be only these three okay so let's go to the ADF to demonstrate further. So here is the Azure Data Factory portal. We'll go to the Author tab, and here at the pipeline level, we'll create a new pipeline. Let's name the pipeline as Alter Row Pipeline. And in the pipeline, we'll be taking the data flow activity. So take the data flow activity. And here in the settings, new, we'll name the data flow activity as alter row data flow. Okay. So this is done now we need to see what we are going to accomplish here so let's here first enable the data flow debug option as we already know that if it will be enabled we'll be able to see the results here itself at the transformation levels so in the meantime we'll see what we are going to accomplish to the data so let's go to the storage account here I have the sample data as products data.csv. Let's open it. It's inside my storage account in the container inside the input folder. Okay. Let's preview the data. So here you can see that it has five different columns: product ID, name, product number, color, and standard cost. So different columns, different rows, and we need to insert all these rows first into the target and so our sync here will be sql database okay so the uh, the sql database is already here you can see a sql database is created and here inside the tables we will land this data okay as a new table so let's do it so here you can see the data flow debug option is ready and here at the source level we will add the source so at the source you can see the output stream name we can name it as alter row source data set or new data set where our data set lies it is a csv file i've already shown here having the products related information so we need to connect to it so it's adls gen 2 so continue it's a delimited text csv file we'll name it as alter row input link service here is azure data lake storage gen 2 okay file path will browse to the file location it's inside adf container input and the name of the file was and the name of the file is products data.csv click on here click ok first row is having header you can see it is having header so click on here 
Now click OK. And in the data preview tab, which is the last among all, we'll go, we'll refresh. Okay. Since the data flow debug option is already enabled and active, we can easily fetch the data and preview it here. Yeah. So we have the complete data appearing here. Okay. So next step is before adding the alter row transformation, what we want is that we want the CSV data to be fully loaded into our sync. And our sync would be the Azure SQL database, which is already created the SQL database. Okay. So, and in the Azure SQL database, we have the two schemas, the DBO and the sales entity. Okay. So for this purpose, we will first add the sync. Okay. So first go to the sync and we'll write here sync alter row okay and the data set will take it as azure sql database sql table alter row link service as sql database which is already there create a new table inside the dbo schema and the table name here we will use as product alter row example okay products alter row example is the table name and we'll click on okay okay so here we will make sure that the data is completely loaded and in the settings we will click on or tick mark on the allow insert so that complete data from our storage account will be loaded into our Azure SQL database. Okay. So now we will validate it and we will run the pipeline. So let's run it in debug mode. Oh, we can see that the pipeline is running in debug mode. It is in progress. Let's wait for it to get completed. So now we can see that it is succeeded. So since it is succeeded and we'll then be able to see the data inside our SQL database. So here let's first refresh and inside the tables we could see the products alter row example. So let's click on new query and select all the data from the products alter to example table click on run and we will be able to see the data so we have all the data from the csv loaded into our dbo products alter row example table right now what we will do as per the alter row transformation we will go first with the insertive okay so let's go back and now we want to insert the data simple insert we want to perform so for this purpose let's go to the csv click on edit and we want to insert some data okay so here what we will do we will add another row okay so for simple insert what we will do we will add another row into our source data so let's make it 728 and we will name the product name as hl super then the product number we'll name it as hl1 color we will leave it as blank and then standard cost we will write as 999 okay let's preview it Okay, we have left the color as blank. We will save it. Okay, so our source data is modified. We have a new row here. Okay, so that has to be inserted into our target database. So, since the data is cached, what we will do? We will disable the data flow debug option and then re enable it so that it will not pick up from the cache data. So, let's disable it and re-enable it 
okay and in the meantime we can add the alter row transformation so let's select the alter row here uh, just after our source and here in the condition we will write insert it okay right insert if okay and in the condition what we have to write is when the color is null okay so we want this new row which is having the color column as null to be inserted so here in the expression builder is null okay the column would be color okay and then we will click on save and finish so this will do the insertion of the last row which we have added in the csv let's see so here is the data so here you can see that this new column is also inserted right so these will be inserted and we will then go to the sync level and in the settings we have the table action okay determines whether to recreate or remove all rows from the destination table prior, prior to writing so we will be truncating the table okay means removing all the data from the table keeping the schema as is and then loading the data so that the fresh data would be loaded okay and here if we click on refresh we can see this extra row is also going to be added so let's go to publish the changes validate the mapping and let's go to the debug now let's wait for this debug run to get completed which is in progress succeeded now we'll go to the sql database and we will again click on this select statement okay select before we were having just 7 to 7 okay until this row and we have recently added this new record which we want to get inserted here so we will click on run and we could see this new row also inserted okay so this is done for the insert so the insert operation is done through alter row this particular row is inserted into our target table now next is here we will go back to our data flow activity here and in the alter row we'll go again and now since this is already inserted we will now do a delete activity okay the next is delete if okay delete if okay what we will do upon what condition we want to get the data deleted let's go back to the csv let's see here the different colors are mentioned okay and different standard course so let, let's in our case we take the example of deleting all those rows which are having the standard cost as greater than or equal to 1000 okay so here delete if in the expression builder we'll write the condition standard cost if it is greater than or if it is equal to 1000 okay this we have written So here you can see it is showing error argument one is of string type and argument two is of integer type so for this resolution what we will do is save and finish it is showing in red mark we'll go back to the source data and here in the projection tab we have the standard cost is in string because the source is csv so by default all columns are in string so we'll convert it to integer okay and then we'll go back to the alter row and now this error will be gone okay so now it's correct here we can refresh on the data preview and we can see that all the rows are marked with tick which are having the standard cost greater than 1000 okay save and finish and now We'll go to the data preview we'll refresh and we can see for the delete it is shown as 
cross okay and here it is mentioned as three three means three rows so this row this row this row seven to five seven to six seven to seven because they are having the standard courses one thousand one one five zero one zero nine zero okay now we'll go to the sink and here we will have the stable action as none because we want the data to be present into the target table as is because we have the complete data and from that data we want to delete a specific set of rows okay then we'll click on allow delete okay we'll make the update method to delete because we have specified here that in the settings it will do delete if okay and on the basis of what we are doing we are deleting on the basis of the standard course and the key column here is product id okay so all these unique product ids will be deleted which are having this standard cost as greater than or equal to 1000 here we have this key column option choose which column is used to determine if a row from the source matches to a row from the sink if it matches so our key column here will be product id right so here we have done three settings we have removed this truncate table option to none we have tick mark on the allow delete update method and in the key columns we have mentioned the key column in our source okay from our source whatever is in the in our data whatever is the key column we have mentioned here so here we'll go to the data preview click on refresh and we can see that these three columns will be deleted so now we'll validate we'll go to the pipeline we'll click on the debug and wait for the debug run to get completed debug run completed now we'll go back to the sql database and we'll execute the select on the products order root example table so the query is running So here we have given the condition that it has to delete if the standard cost is greater than 1000. So let's see if it has deleted. So yeah, here you can see in the output all those rows which are having the standard cost as greater than 1000 or equal to 1000 are deleted. Okay, so we have accomplished two alter row conditions. We have inserted a new row into the target table okay which was having this um, color as null and then we have this deletive condition where we have given the expression as the standard cost column on the basis of the standard cost column so we have got the result into our sink okay so the other two conditions which is updative and absurdive i'll take up in the next video separate video thank you for watching this video happy learning to all bye bye